As a farmer, you, you kind of have to be a jack of all trades. You have to be a banker, a mechanic. You know, you have to be a good business manager. Hello. Hey, good morning, Hans. How are we doing today? Zilla should be done with Highland there. You know, you're, you're feeding people, you're feeding America, feeding the world. We, we, have to, we have to do a lot of things right in order to make that happen. And, and it's getting harder and harder to do that these days. We're in Zilla, Washington on one of the farms that I manage. It's primarily an apple farm. There's cycles in farming and not every year is a home run. You got weather issues, you know, extreme heat, extreme cold. Uh, and then you have the insects that, that, that are kind of in the middle of all that. And one of the biggest challenges for us is pesticides. We've felt for a, a few years now that maybe some of the makeups of the chemicals that we're currently using might not be working as well as they have in the past. You know, there's a lot of fear and concern five, 10 years from now, how are we gonna fight the pests that we've been fighting? How are we gonna bring a crop to market that doesn't have a bunch of stings and a bunch of issues? When you're trying to grow more with fewer and fewer tools, something just has to give. How's, uh, how's the season going? Uh, it's going okay. We've been battling uh, the heat quite a bit. We're really concerned about size on the fruit. So when we look at this, we're looking for 88s, 80s, 72s. If you have too high a percentage of stings, of damage in your apples when you take them to the packer, they will be outright rejected. So as Keith would say, he just needs more weapons. As uh, existing solutions were pulled from the market or restricted in their use, he just didn't have the weapons that he needed to be able to control his insects. Vestron is bringing a pace of innovation to the world of crop protection that it has never seen before, and we are doing it with molecules that combine the same efficacy as your traditional chemical pesticides, but with the safety and environmental profile of a biologic molecule. My name's Bob Kennedy. I'm the chief scientific officer at Vestron. I enjoy running the, the mental component of it. I'm not the fastest runner, uh, but I am persistent. And maybe that's a little bit like what Vestron is. It took this team probably about a decade to solve the problems that would bring this first product to the market. We had a very small team dedicated and focused and through persistence, finally solved the gating problems to commercializing this new class of products uh, that we think will transform agriculture. Vestron's first product uh, started with the Blue Mountain Funnel Web Spider. What we do is we take that natural product, that peptide that's been isolated from the venom of that spider, and we modify it so that it can be used as a commercial crop protection insecticide. And so we started from that single point, that peptide, and we engineered a product that we could manufacture, that we could get into insects, that was not toxic to humans, birds, fish, vertebrates, but was really quite effective against a wide variety of insects. After learning about the technology and what was involved in Vesteron, we decided to incorporate it into our program and, and give it a shot. We don't have to go out and buy any proprietary equipment. Uh, we're using everything that we've already been using. There's no new capital cost, so that's easy to adapt. Once you spray and you go tour the field and you're looking for issues with pests, when you get out there and you're not finding any of those problems, it gives you hope for tomorrow and, and, and the fact that you might be able to win the battle on the farm.
I think we are at the forefront of a revolution in agriculture that is going to allow this industry to continue to meet the growing needs that we have for food while also being much softer on the environment and safer for pollinators and workers and consumers. We feel fortunate to be able to carry on that tradition of farming in the valley. It, it's a great responsibility, and I want my children and grandchildren to be able to farm if they choose to. If it's not them, I want it to be there for somebody else. I want to create that opportunity for future generations.